السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ رب شرخلی صدری و یسرلی عمری وحل القدم السانی افقہ قولی ربنا ضدنا علما اللہم فقہنا فی الدین اللہم انی اسلوک علم النافیہ و رزق طیبہ و ملم متقبلہ آمین رب العالمین سو ہیر بی آر ودار سیشن نمبر ون ہنڈرڈ این نائن این آئی ایم گوئن ٹو سٹارٹ ود ا ریویو کوئک ریویو آف Um, the previous families, inshallah. So let's start. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So I have Dua'i Kunut in front of you, my dear sisters. The first word is that I have for you is Afini. What do you think is the origin of this word? Where is this word coming from? Barakallah, Fiqh Sister Rubin. Yes, this is coming from family number three. And what is your um, um, helping um, letter here? Which had letter helped you determine that this is family three letter? This is member of family three. And what is the location? Barakallah, Fiqh. Alif after the Fa'ul Kalima. Alif after the Fa'ul Kalima is your, you know, give away, right? So what is the Siga now? What do you think is the siga of this word? No, you know, don't exhaust yourself with anything. But what is the siga of this word? You are seeing a letter with, you know, a word which is with alif after. And then you are seeing a kasra on the second root. What do you think? So it is felu dua, right? Afi. So this you are asking for afia, right? Make sense or no? This one, this word. This word. Hmm? So, the kasra, the kasra is not there in fail madin. Do you see kasra? Jahada, 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 jahadu. You don't see kasra on the Ainul Kalima, right? But this word has a kasra on Ainul Kalima. So now, do you see kasra on Ainul Kalima in case of Felul Amr or Fele Talb or Felu Dua? When you say Jahid, yes or no? Is there a kasra on the second root? Yeah? So it is Felu Dua. Make sense or no sense? Right? The kasra is seen in the case of Second root letter in Felul Amr. In Fail Madin, you have not seen Kasra on the second Kalima, right? Any Madi that you have been taught in these families, yes, Madi can have a Kasra like Samia, but you have not been taught in Sarf any family yet with a Kasra on Ainul Kalima. Did I teach you any, any word that has Kasra on Ainul Kalima? Aslama, Jahada, Allama. Ta'allama, ta'awana, inkasara, inkalaba, or iqtaraba, any kasra on the Ainul Kalima, second root letter, any word so far that I have, you know, gone over? No. So, if you see a kasra on the second letter, then think about other than Felun Madin, right? When it is Mazid Fihi. Think about other than Felun Madin, and you, you're, you know, it's going to be likely your um, uh, Amr because you know which Amr, oh sorry, which fail Mudare or fe, which fail Amr have Kasra on the second Kalima? Which families have Kasra on the Ainul Kalima? That is going to be help uh, when they have Kasra on the Ainul Kalima in Felun Mudare, they will have Kasra on Ainul Kalima in Felul Amr as well. So what are the families that are UE families and what are the families with Kasra on Ainul Kalima? Is it just four? It is two, three, four. What about six? Uh, uh, what about seven and eight? Right. Yeah, so two, three, four and seven, eight. Two, three, four, seven, eight. Okay. Everyone with me so far? Got it? Or you, those who are lagging behind, got it? Right? Okay. Let's just, you know, look at the next word. Afaita. 
and you know i'm purposely bringing these words to you so that you know you can be given any root letter but you should just apply your self knowledge and should be able to identify the correct family of the word by just applying this you know this knowledge that you've been given in your self classes afaita what do you think family it's madin family three madin right everyone agrees alif after the faul kalima alif alif is added is mazid and this is seen in case of jahada yujahidu or bab mufa'ala when you see tawallani tawallani which family determine the family family 5 right there is no alif in family 6 there is an alif right do you see an alif here ta and ainul kalima ainul kalima with shadda now the word how many words are we seeing here in tawallani how many words are there to be exact okay so more precise answers tawallani how many words Okay, Rana is saying three. Okay, so where is my first word? What is my first word? My dear sisters, where is this let number six coming from? Are there six words in Tawallani, and then there are seven also? Huh? So Tawalla. Barakalaufi Tawalla is one word. Nunul Wakaya is another word, and Ya Mutakalim is a third word. Right? Everyone got it. What are the root letters for Tawalla? And I don't know where this six seven is coming from. What is the root letter for Tawalla? Wow, Lam Ya. So what is missing here? Ya is missing, so the word is majzum bihasfil ya. So, what are the cases where the word is majzum? What are the two cases where you see a majzum word? One is failul amr, and there is mudare majzum as well, right? There is mudare majzum as well. So, what do you think? You are seeing afini, tawallani. So, this is again failu dua again. You can call it dua, right? And do you see a file of this fail? Always remember, barakallahu fiq. Anta is the file. No, ya is not the file. Ya is not is is anta is the file, which is mustatir barakallahu fiq. And ni ya is done to. It's the maful. It's the receiver of an action, not the doer of an action. Okay. So tawalla is failu dua, wal file the mir mustatir anta noon noon al vakaya hmm? ya 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 al mutakallim fi mahali nasb right li annahu mafulun bihi. Everyone got it or no? Your clues were ta before the first root letter and shadda second root letter mushaddad. Is making you identify it as family number five. There is no alif, cannot be family number six. In family number six, you see ta, and you must see an alif after the faul kalima. Are you seeing any alif after vowel? Do you see it? No, there is no alif, so don't call it family number six. I hope this is clear to all of you, my dear sisters. Now, the word late. What is the word late? This is again family number five. Wow, has a ta before and lam mushaddad, and this is felun madin barakallahu fiq. This is madin of family number five. Everyone got it. <clears throat> I hope this is clear to all of you. <clears throat> barik, barik. Look at the word carefully. 
and then decide the family. Bara color fix is Zerina. This is family number three. And bara color fix is Aisha. This is Pelul Amr because Ainul Kalima has Kasra Mudar and the word is Majzum. And there is no Alamatul Mudare. No Alamatul Mudare. Pel is Majzum. So this is Pelul Amr or Pelul Dua for family number from family number three. And one thing, every fail, be it failul amr, failul madin, failul mudare. Do you think has always has a file or a pronoun? Every failul amr, for example, if we are focusing on amr here, every failul amr must have a file. So don't forget it, okay, inshallah. So where is this word coming from? Atoit. Barakalofi, Aisha, what was the giveaway in this word? What was the, you know, what, how Hamza Tulkata, Barakalofi, my dear sister. Good job. Wa late. What do you think? Wa late. Three. And what is Asira? Madin, Barakalofi. What helped you determine that this is three? Alif, very well done. Good job. Everyone is on the right track now. now. And I think everyone understood. Adeit. Three, again. Barakallah. So, do you need to know anything but just you need to know your families and you can then figure out your um, root letters as well later on? Do you notice how you are yourself is going to help you determine your root letters later on like you are you know ain is the root letter and dal is probably the root letter this alif is extra this is mazid fihi right and probably the third letter is going to be wow or ya right you you can come that far with this information right okay now let's see this one tabarakta Tabarakta. So what are the giveaway? Now, tell me, how did you determine that this is six? Ta and Alif. So if Ta and Shadda, don't call it family six. Ta and Alif is family six. Ta Alayt. Again, same. And what is the siga of the word? Is this Ta Alayta? I hope you all have memorized this. This is Pelun Madin from family number six and file who anta barakalofik taul file is the file and it is visible too okay let's see this one in the swir in the swir what do you think is the siga of this word is it seven or eight so what should be the root letters. What are the content? What is the content? What is the content? Noon sodra is your content, right? So the container is if ta'il. Hmm? So noon sodra, if those are the con is if that is a content, then it's not possible for it to be from family number seven. It has to be family number eight. Right? It has to be family number eight. And can somebody confuse it as some of you have confused it with family number seven? Can there be a confusion? Yes or no? Inqalib. Inqalib sounds the same, right? Like in tasir. And we will learn today. If you have to pick between seven and eight, go for eight. Always go for eight. And I have, you know, gone over most of the Quran and tried to figure out, you know, if I have to pick from um, one from another, I just have to say it's eight. I will never say that it is family seven because eight is way more common than family number seven. And you will have this in your slide, all the information that if you have to pick between seven and eight, which one you will you pick? And this is going to be a confusion. There will be a confusion every time when your foul kalima is going to be known. You will see more examples of that. What's the siga of this word, my dear sisters? In tasir, kasra is there. 
fail is majzoom and there is no alamatul mudare it is failul amr form family number 8 in tasaru in tasaru what is this Eight. Now tell me the siga, the correct siga. Felun madin. Nobody should say that this is felul amr just because it has hamza tul basal. Okay. Now you are not kindergartners. I think, alhamdulillah, you are almost in middle school. So please, your answer should be like a middle school student. Um, I don't expect kindergarten answers. Okay. Now, alhamdulillah, because you you are such a group of girls alhamdulillah alhamdulillah i'm so lucky to have you okay now munqalabin what is an option for this word munqalabin and we have done this recently too seven barakalawfiq and now tell me the siga it can be it can be zarf because meem dhamma what other option it can be the master too. Barakallahu feek. Very well done. Very smart. Very smart answers. Barakallahu feek. Subhanallah. May Allah put more and more baraka in your knowledge. In your amal, more so in your amal. Okay? Even knowledge is lacking. That is going to be okay. Barakallahu feek. Another good one from Sister Azra. She's saying, no mafool. I'm not going to call it mafool. That's what you mean, Azra? Right? Alhamdulillah, you are never going to give maful answer for family number seven. Barakallahu feek. So proud of all of you. So in Tasara, it's going to be, it's going to be, what is it going to be? Help me. Eight. And this is the siga. The correct siga is going to be Felun Madin. Barakallahu feek. Madin. Now, look at this word and this is going to happen in Quran. Okay? So, what are you seeing here? Is it La? Natasara? Or what is this? What is this this word? La Intasara? What do you think? Is it La Mutali? It has a fata. Think, think. Low is before, and your answers for low usually begin with a special lam that is lam lil jawabu shart. Lam lil jawabu shart. This is just one lam, lam fatha lam. And if Allah would have willed, surely, surely, this is this, this lam is lam just lam it is in tasara felun madin simple felun madin but sometimes it's going to be written like this and you may confuse it with la don't call it la ever okay so if somebody you, you, you when you read it you you'll not make mistake but you know if you look at it isn't it looking like a la that is la nafia right so this is a special word. This alif is Hamza tul wasal. This alif is not alif. Actually, this is Hamza tul wasal. So it is. It was in tasara. If you read, but you are going to read this word together. You are going to read it like lan tasar. Okay, lan tasara minhum wala kiliyabluwa baadakum bi baad. Okay, making sense or no sense? How it is? It's going to be read together. Okay. La is, as when you go back to your um, conditional sentences, you will see low, if it's jawab, low is advatu shart, and it's jawabu shart. If it is a positive sentence, it begins with lam, lil, lil jawabu shart, lam ul waqia lil jawabu shart. Yeah, it's it's uh, if it's a positive sentence, you will uh, ninety percent of the times, so or ninety to ninety five percent of times, you are going to see lam in the case of jawabu shart. So this sentence is jumla shartiya, and in tasara minhum is going to be jawabu shart, my dear sister. Okay, alhamdulillah. I'm glad that you asked this question and clarified it. I'm very proud of you. Okay, now let's see this word. Tan 
Tashirun. Tang Tashirun. So now, my dear sisters, tell me the family and tell me the correct siga. So, everyone, so eight, everyone agrees it, it is not going, you are not going to call it seven. You are not going to make a mistake of calling it seven. It's fail mudari, al failul mudari, doer is babil jama'a. From family number eight, yes, root, it is a noon, sheen, raw. And it is the ta is the extra letter. It is family number eight because no matter what word you are given, if you see noon ta together, just pick family eight. This is a lesson for today. Okay, don't forget it. Okay, in the shiru, what is in the shiru? Fa in the shiru, or fang the shiru. Family eight, and this is amr. And how do you know this is um, Sister Shamim? Can you help us all? What helped you determine that this is Failul Amr? Kasra, Barakallahu feed. There's a Kasra, Aisha, I'm very proud of you. There's a Kasra on the second root that helped us determine that this is Failul Amr. It is not Fail Mudar. Okay, now here I have uh, yeah. the Hasum. The Hasum. So there's a word with root letters Kha, Sod, Meem. The Kha, Sum. Very well done. Family 6, Master. Family 6, Master. Right? Ta, before the first root letter. Alif, after the first root letter. Word is light. Why is it light? Why is it light? Mudaf, very well done. Ahli is mudafun ilahi. So that is why tahasum is light here. Everyone, I, uh, in, in, is it easy or, you know, I, I, are we, uh, you know, everyone understanding everything so far? Alhamdulillah. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Let me just go back now. Okay, so okay. Now let's see here. The hasum is done. Tahtasimuna. Where is this word coming from? This one. Family number eight, and the siga is mudari. This one, right? Takhtasimuna. It's. Are you talking about this one, um, Alina? Mudare. It's uh, mudare, right? Yeah. La takhtasimu. La takhtasimu. Family number eight. Good job. What's the status of mudare? Mudare matzum. Very well done. And la is going to be, what type of la? La is la nahiya. Barakallahu feek, my dear sisters. Now th comes a very interesting word here. If I ask you, yakhissimuna, what do you think? What is your guess? Can it be family four or family three? Okay, is there any alif after Kha. Any alif. For those of you who have said family four uh, family three, is there any alif? Okay. No? Yes or no? Is there any dhamma on alamatul mudare for it to be from family number two? Hmm? Family three and family two. Any dhamma on alamatul mudare? So, two is out, three is out, four is out, yes or no? Because there is no Dhamma on Alamatul Mudari. Now, somebody is saying that this is two, three, four are out. Someone is saying this is family five. What is the name for family five? What are the names for family five? Give me the names for family number five. Ta'allama. Ta'allama 
is that you know um, ta family okay shadda shadda family and what's the last name which is very important name fataha family are you seeing all fatahs here can it be from family 5 Aza, you still think this can be from family five? With all the kasras, khaw with kasra, saad with kasra, and family five is a fataha family. Yes, it is ibdal. But first of all, we have to get to this, you know, it the right way, right? So, I, you know, think about things, okay, before jumping on to give an answer. that's how you're going to use your common sense in your test as well if you are tested with anything you just make sure you know you 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 apply this anywhere in quran your alamatul mudari has no dhamma it cannot be 2 3 your your it cannot be 5 because there is no fathas and 5 is fataha family it cannot be 6 it cannot be 6 anyways there is no shadda on 6 right Seven, no noon. Eight, is, is there a possibility? It can be eight, and there is some ibdal happening. And yes, I have not taught you, but you have to think before you answer, right? Before we pick a family, we need to know the right approach. We need to know the right methodology. Okay, so this is yes, this is family eight, and we are going to learn how this is family eight, but you know always remember you know always remember yeah so you know always remember how you are going to work your way through you know these words so that you get to the right answer okay okay now this word sabiru sabiru three and this is a siga is It's Madin with Ba Kasra. Can Kasra? Uh, is there any ever Sabara, 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 Sabaru? Is Ba with Kasra? When when I made the you know Madin table, Ba has a Kasra. Second root letter has a Kasra. So Pelul Amr. Rabi Tu, Rabi Tu. What do you think? same pelul amr from family number 3 ittaqu so one amr two amr ittaqu what do you think if you are looking at a word with the first wo word with that is mushaddad what should come to your mind it remember we did it last time yes it should come to your mind here the ta of the family did not undergo any change but the vow of root letter got changed into ta and get merged into get merged into the ta of the family so it is says family number 8 is it easy to identify it as a family number 8 uh, from whatever we have learned so far vow is very uh, common um, uh, vow does it very commonly it changes itself into ta you just um, you know must have heard this um, dua allahumma inni as'alukal huda wa tuqa the root letters for tuqa are waw qaf ya hmm hakka tuqati so waw very commonly gets changed into ta letter ta so here it got changed into letter ta so ittaqu ittaqu so this is again family number 8 yeah so it was a change of vow not the ta of the family ta of the family remained unchanged so it is just the ta a vow changed into the ibdal happened to vow not the ta of the family right okay now um, i'm going to uh, leave this um, till after and i'm going to cover it's not wattaku it is it is ittaqu when we are reading this word we are just doing this word whatever is in front of us we are not focusing on vow which is 
which is the wow, which is at wow. We are not focusing on that, Sister Anas. We are just going to focus on ittaku, right? Is that the question? So you are focusing on ittaku. And then the wow is a part of the, the there, are, there are two ta's that you are seeing, right? So one of the ta is from the root letter. Hmm. Yeah, it is going to be read as vattaku. Yeah, but if you read it separately as for your self practice, ittaku, you should know that we, the, you know, this, the first ta is from the root letter wow, right? I mean, by Yaki, my dear sister. So let's just come back to what we were doing. So we were learning Ibdal and we just started learning Ibdal. Um, we briefly went over the first, um, you know, uh, set of words. So I taught you in the last session, if your root letter is Dal, the Ta of the family is going to change into Dal. And in this case, in the case of Dal, in the case of Dal, it is compulsory to apply idgham. If the root letter is, the first root letter is dal, if the first root letter is dal, it is compulsory to apply idgham. Everyone got it? Idda'a. So the root letters are dal ain vau. Ta of the family got changed into dal and we see idgham here. Okay. The foul kalima is dal. The ta of the family, you know, gets changed into dal. In that case, three changes are permissible. Okay. Letter zal gets changed into dal, and and we apply idgham. So, the letter zal of the root letter also changes itself into dal, and idgham is applied. And I showed you example of muddakir. Right? Muddakir in Surah Al-Qamar. Pahal Mim Muddakir is from the same, you know, root letters and the same rule has been applied on that word. Okay? So, in in one of the cases, what happens is that we change the Dal. The Dal is changed into Zal and we apply the rule of Idram. So, the Ta first that has been changed into Dal is now going to change into Zal and you just apply Idram. In some cases, you see that Dal remains Dal, Zal remains Zal, but there is no Idram that is applied. Are you all with me? Alhamdulillah, you are going to just see them as a separate letters. There is no Idram. Okay? You are not going to walk yourself through this, the you know, through memorizing each and everything. What did I teach you in our last session? What do you need to remember? If you see first letter, first letter mushaddad, think of ibdal. If you see first letter mushaddad, what are you going to think of? Ibdal. Okay? You think if there was a ta that got changed into whatever letter I'm seeing. Will you remember this? Don't you need, don't need to remember? Okay, it can change into zal and it can change into dal. It can remain dal or it can you know because it's too much. You just know, just remember that if you see a mushaddad first root letter, think of ibdal. Then if the foul kalima is zai, the ta of the family again is changed into dal. And two changes are permissible. In that case, you you know you you the, you the world is left alone without application of idram, like is dajara, is dajara, or sometimes dal changes into the zai, and idram happens. Okay, is dajara, is dajara. Again, what are you seeing? What what is what is there that can help you that there could be a hidden ta, the mushaddad first letter, right? First letter with shadda, first letter with shadda is just a giveaway. Mushaddad first letter, think about ibda. Easy? Fair enough or no?
if foul kalima is sa, the ta of the family is changed into sa. It's the ta of the family is changed into sa, and the rule of idgham is applied, and you can see it like istara. Okay, it was istara, and the word becomes isara. Make sense or no sense? If foul kalima is sa, the ta of the family will become sa as well. And idgham is going to be applied. Okay. Now, if your foul kalima is ta, za, saad, dod, what are these letters? Light letters or heavy letters? Isti Allah or isti fal? Isti Allah, right? Heavy letters, right? It involves the elevation of the back of your tongue. Very, very heavy letters. So, if the foul kalima is ta, za, saad, dod, what kind of a letter ta is? Is it light or heavy? Is it from the istiala group or istifal? It's from the light group, right? So what is happening now is your ta gets changed into ta if those are the letters that are the foul kalima. If your foul kalima is either ta, za, sa, da, foul kalima is ta, za, sa, da, ta gets changed into ta. Make sense or no? Because it's it's, it's easier that your tongue, tongue is already elevated and you are you keep it the same way and you read the word, right? Isn't it easy? Instead, you know, you you read such a heavy letter and then you have to bring it to, um, you, you have to bring your tongue down. So it's easy for ease of pronunciation. Ta gets changed into ta. Okay? So the word was, the root letters were ta. Lam ba. So it was it it talaba. But this ta, this ta, which is a part of the family, got changed into ta and rule of idgham is applied. So again, first root letter mushaddad, what happened? Ibdal. Make sense or no sense? Right? First root letter mushaddad, it's all about the first root letter being mushaddad. You have to just think about, you know, this rule of ibdal. If your foul kalima is sod and dod, the ta of the family is changed into ta, either no idgham is applied, either no idgham is applied, and the word is is tabara, it taraba, and you will see th these two words in Quran, right? You will see these words in Quran. Sometimes ta is changed into sod or dod and idgham is applied. So the ta of the family gets changed into sod or ta of the family gets changed into dod and idgham is applied. So again, mushaddad first root letter. What is the clue? Again, you, what, what change are you seeing? Only mushaddad first root letter, right? So can you confuse this word is sabara? With family five? Can you? Why? Why not? Uh, you are going to confuse it with family five. Why not? No shadda on the first? No. First letter is no shadda. No, but why not family five? In family five, you can have first letter mushadad when there is a rule of ibdal. No, you can see is suddaka, is suddaka, you can see. No mushadad second root letter is the right answer. In the family five, second root letter is mushadad. But you don't see that here. So there is no reason for you to confuse it with family five. Does it make sense? Huh? In family five, you have mushadad second root letter. If it can be, it can be, you can see mushadad first root letter in how many cases? In how many cases you can see mushadad first root letter? We did it last time. In three cases. What were those three cases? Five, six, eight. Five, six, eight. But when you don't see mushadad second root, 
it should not make you think of fa family five, right? Is sabara no family five because there is no mushaddad ba kalima. The ba is not mushaddad or ra is not mushaddad. So why will you think about family five, right? Then again, if the faul kalima is wa, the ta of family is going to after changing ta of the family to ta, three changes are permissible. Okay. The zwa is changed into ta and idgham applies. Yani the original root letter gets changed into ta and ittalama becomes no idgham is applied and everything is left as it is. But ta has to change into ta. So is talama, is talama. Or what happens is the letter ta of the family is changed into zwa and idgham is applied. Everyone with me so far or no? Basic thing, mushaddad, first root letter, right? Mushaddad, first root letter is the only clue. I'm going over these slides because the, the, these are the changes that you may see. But you should be able to identify the correct family by knowing your basic principles. Not by memorizing all those rules. You don't need to. You don't need to memorize all these rules. You just need to know the, you know, that that if you see first root letter mushaddad, you have to think about rule of ibdal. Now, what happens is, if your Ainul Kalima, first we were reading all about Faul Kalima, the first root letter. Now, Ainul Kalima, if your Ainul Kalima is Ta, Sa, Jim, Dal, Zal, Zai, Sin, Chin, Saw, Da, Ta, Zo, in that case, what happens is, after changing the Ta of the family to the same letter as Ainul Kalima, the Harka of Ta is transferred to the preceding letter, and idgham is applied. You remember, we just saw a word, yahrissi muna, yahrissi muna, right? In the in our review sheet here, this word here, la taqtasimu, yeah, yahrissi muna, this one, right? So what happened? There was a transfer of a kasra, right? It was it was supposedly sakun letter, right? But this is getting a kasra because of the because of the rule of idgham, okay? And because of the ibdal occurred in the other letters, okay? Your ta got changed into sod and and idgham has occurred, okay? So basically, basically, I don't want you to confuse yourself with anything. You need to know this slide. Mushaddad, Paul Kalima, wa Ainul Kalima. Okay? What do we need to think of? If your first letter is Mushaddad, think of three. Five, six, eight. Think of Ibdal. If the second root letter is Mushaddad and no Fatha, again think of Ibdal. Make sense or no sense? And we are going to go back to our words and we are going to go back to our review sheet so that we are, you know, at least we know the basics of it, okay? Can you call this? Repetition is first letter, first root letter, Mushaddad, think of three families. Five, six, eight. Think of rule, Ibdal. If your second letter is Mushaddad and you are not seeing all Fatahs, you are not seeing all fathas in your felun mudare, in no fathas in felun mudare. Think of ibdal again, and family. Then you will come to know that this cannot be fataha family. This is most likely family number eight. Okay, so let's see here. Anyone is going to call this family eight or uh, or, or family five from uh, all the information that you've been given so far about from family number two to family number eight. Can we call Yahasi Muna family five by just looking at the Shadda on the family on the second root letter? Can we? We cannot, right? Because there are so many Kasras here. Huh? It's a Fataha family. Family five is a Fataha family. If you don't see Fata, don't call it family number five. Okay. What is this coming from? Where is this word coming from? 
what do you think is the root letter of the word? Think of root letter and then give me the correct family. Saad, Ba, Ra are the root letters. This Ta of the family, do you think the Ta of the family got changed into Ta because of, you know, how heavy the first letter is? Hmm? Is Tabir easy to pronounce? And this is family eight, right? And the Siga is? What is the Siga of this word? Amr, Barakalofi. Now, let's see here. So who is calling it family four? So if you are calling it family four, what are the root letters of this word? Baud, ra, ra. What is extra in family four that you are seeing here that made you think of it as family four? And then I'm going to come to family five too. So Hamza made you think this is family four. So Hamza Tulkata, this, this word, if you look at this word, do you think this word is Filmadin? How this word is ending? Is it fail madin? It's not fail madin. Can it be fail mudare? It cannot be mudare. Why not? <laughs> Why not? It, it, you know, it's ending with Dhamma. It's ending with Dhamma. And Hamza can be sign of mudare. Hamza is also one of the sign of mudare. Hamza noon yata. Right? Hamza, Noon, Yata are the signs of Mudare. So, this Hamza can very well be the sign of Mudare. There is no Dhamma? Is this not Dhamma? Am I showing you the wrong word or what? Are you not seeing Dhamma at the end of the word? So, can this be, can this be so, my dear sisters, for those of you who are calling it family four, this word, in, in, does your fail madin end with family, uh, in, uh, your fail madin has Hamzatul Qata in family four. Does your fail madin end with Dhamma? It ends with Fatha, right? So, it cannot be fail madin. It cannot be fail ul amr. It I, this cannot be, and you're seeing, in addition to Hamza, you're seeing an extra ta here, right? You you told me, somebody told us that, you know, da, dra, ra, the root letters, right? Darar. Hmm? Yes or no? Right? There's an extra ta here, right? There's an extra ta here. Da, dra, ra are the root letters, right? This Hamza is from Mudare. Does not have a Dhamma, so family four is not possible. Family five has what in what is added in family five? Uh, the uh, Mazid is Ta and Chadda on the second root letter. So you do have a letter with the shadda and you, there is a, you know, but do you see an additional raw? Because da, the raw, raw are the root letters. And in case of family five, your word was the allama. There was another me, which was a third letter after the mushaddad second root. Do you see an additional raw here? So an additional raw should be there, right? So, is it possible for it to be from family five? It is not, right? So, what is remaining? What is the letter that is left there? There is a ta that is not the part of the root letter, my dear sisters. If you just think very simply, not very um, in a complicated or a com complex manner, you know, just think what are the root letters? 
and what is added what is additional what is mazid in this word to was the mazid word in this you know mazid letter in this word so to is mazid there is you know the possibility is if ta is mazid after the first after the first root letter give me what could be the uh, um, family and yes in case of in case of family 8 we do see a kasra we do see a kasra which is not visible because your second letter got merged into third letter so just just think of simple things okay if you are seeing in edit ta after the first root call it family 8 don't think more, more you know any you know, don't exhaust yourself with anything okay so there is a change of ta into ta right because of the heavy first root letter which was dad and um, this is fail mudare failuhu damir mustatir ana okay the ra that first ra that was supposed to be with kasra lost its kasra because the two letters were the same the two, second and third root letters are the same and there has to be an idgham so that is how you are seeing, seeing that is why you are see, seeing no kasra on the ainul kalima because ain kalima got merged into lam kalima make sense or no you want me to break this word so dod ra ra other root letters originally this was there is was pata not dhamma was pata iktaraba yaqtaribu ad so when you aqtaribu uh, 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 so up from aqtaribu you are getting at tariru but this these two letters since they are raw both raw what is what is going to happen the first raw is going to lose its haraka takes a sukoon and will get merged into the last one Make sense or no sense? Alhamdulillah. Okay. Is it clear? Because I'm how I drew it is not very neat. I hope it is. So, ru. So, and then this will change into sakun. and then it's going to be from it it's going to lose its kasra and get merged into the next row i hope it is you know somewhat clear alhamdulillah okay so is tabir where is this word coming from family 5 6 7 8 9 10 barakallahu feek it is family number 8 and the siga is felul amr because the ba the second kalima the second root letter has a kasra again is tabir the same rule has a, has applied here mutashaki suna where is this word coming from barakallahu feek ta before alif after the first kalima family number 6 and the siga is can it be mudare with meem dhamma beginning okay can it, it is isam file right isam file look at this word yastaviyani yastaviyani what do you think 
this word is coming from. It is Pelun Mudare family 8. Seen Bau Ya are the root letters. Savi. From Savi, it went into family number 8. Istava Yastavi. Yastavi Yani. What the, who is the doer here in word Yastavi Yani? Very well done. Huma is the doer. And can you see the doer? Sister Shameen? Aleph is the doer. Barakallahu feek, right? Aleph is the doer. Barakallahu feek. Now look at this word. Mutasuddi'an. Mutasuddi'an. Ta before. Dal is mushaddad. Family five. Dal is with kasra, which is the second root letter. So it is ism file. And ism file is it's an ism because mimdama is the beginning. Can be ism file, maful, or zar. So but the ainul kalima is with kasra. So it's ism file. Barakalaufi. Yatafakkaruna. Okay. So yatafakkaruna is family five. Mudare and Mudare is Marfu, Bisubutin Noon. What is this word? Where is this coming from? When you look at this word, look at it carefully. Okay, so it's family number eight because we are seeing Ta, which was originally Ta after the first root letter. So this is Madin. Majhul, very well done because Uturirtum, U E sound, and Madin was the Siga, and Madin Majhul, Sister uh, Shamim has rightly identified because U E is because of the U E sound, right? Got it? Everyone got it? Okay. This word, Diraran. Real quick. Where, where is this coming from? It's a ism or a fail? It's ism. It's a master of family number three, right? It's an ism. It cannot be pile maful. So it's a master. Jihadan diraran. What is this word coming from? Master, family two, irsadan, irsadan. What is this word? Family number four, and this is Siga is master. Very good job. Islaman, haraba, haraba. Family number three, Siga is Pelun Madin. Okay, now let's see here. I have a word. Let's see if you are able to identify and give me the right family. Or actually, one sec. Okay. No, I, I think it's there is a Karuna that's easy. What is this? Where is this word coming from? Yazakaruna. 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 You should do something if you're still calling it family two. You know, okay. Ta and Shadda. There, there is something that happened. The first root letter, first root letter is also Mushadad. And the second is also Mushadad. Everything Fatha. Family number five. With that, I will have to end the session. Subhanakallahu wa bi hamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiru kawana tubu ilayka. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in your time, in your life, in your health and everything. Inshallah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make you true students of Quran. Inshallah.